<laughs> well, after a... Uh, <laughs> goat got you all messed up, buddy. <laughs> Billy, the, Billy the Kid Goat. It's time for Motivation Monday. We're talking about the best motivation on words that end with eight. Right. And, and joining us now is Pete Blank. He's a leadership <laughs> author, public speaker uh, on the subject of yeah. leadership. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Billy the Goat is playing. Seriously, what am Billy, I even doing here? Billy the Kid ate enough, that's for sure. No, but give, hey, welcome in. All right, yeah. so words that end in A-T. A T. We always do this twice a year. I yeah. try to think of words we can put together. I, if I had known the goat was going in front of us, <laughs> we would have made words that aligned with capture and Billy the Goat. But let, let's do a few things here that, that like we can yeah. do as leaders this way. Okay, let's anticipate. Let's anticipate. Let's anticipate. anticipate that a goat is going to escape it's gonna, it's gonna escape and go out a lot of times when when we have friends and family we're trying to motivate them if we can anticipate their needs like if someone says to you Mike man you know something you know I'm having a bad time in my relationship right now or my significant other's about to go in the hospital or if you can anticipate their needs and try to be there for them ahead of time more of a proactive instead of reactive mm -hmm. can kind of keep your feelers open if you listen for what people are looking for you can anticipate and be there for them to help them before they actually ask for it. That's a nice thing to do. You know, we hope on Good Day Alabama we create memorable moments, but yeah. there, there's also something about creating good memories. Right? right, absolutely. And that's where create comes in. If you anticipate their needs, we talked about at Disney when I worked there, creating magical moments for our guests. We would go above and beyond for the guests, like sure. make them go into lines faster or maybe give them a plush animal. Same thing with all of your family and friends. If you can create small surprises, small thank you notes, uh, small things, create those magical magical moments for your family, for your coworkers, for your neighbors, that can help to motivate them. Now, I do like it when they validate parking, but you're talking about yeah. a different validation. <laughs> you know, sometimes we spend so much time trying to tell people, you know, and give them things. Folks just want to be heard. You know, Amen like, you know, if people say, you know, I, I'm having struggling, sometimes it, it's just listening to them and validating their existence and validating that they're important and validating that they can make a difference and validating that they can have an impact. Even on these Motivation Mondays, we're like, yeah, I hear what Pete's talking about, but I'm not sure I can do any of that. Just validating that, listen, you can do that. You can make somebody's day. You can motivate them to validate maybe what they need. All right, Pete Blank, great message today. We appreciate that. We're going to find out uh, what we one day will be eight. Eight. In the kitchen. Nice.